Let me say this one time, that one time You make me feel alright So nice I know you wanna do what Say less You can stay the night You don't gotta go We could take this slowly No need to be lonely Let me take you on this ride No need to be shy, girl yeah, We in the end It's an option But wouldn't it be sad if we left this We got chemistry Hello and welcome back to a new vlog. I hope you are doing all great. Today we are at the designer outlet Pandorf, which is a designer outlet very close to Vienna and I haven't been here for a while. I think the last time we came here was One during year, COVID. Yeah. So, and I've seen on Instagram that a few new stores opened, so I really wanted to check them out. And I thought I'm going to take you with me and show you around a little bit. I hope you can hear me and I hope it's not too shaky <laughs> because I'm filming with my camera. Normally I always film with my iPhone, but I thought I'm going to try filming with my vlogging camera. But this one has not the best stabilization, so it's quite um, shaky. But yeah. Let's see what they have. Oh, the Gucci store changed mm -hmm. its location. Lights out, I'm your favorite. Too many ways, been in your place, there's delays. Added up the signs, zeros on the table. Javin and vibe, bring the be later. Wanna make it bigger, just a little bit of flavor showing up to my space. I'm a fashion dealer, I'm your biggest bitter. Meet me in the middle, I just don't wanna settle. Under these lucid dreams, I'm not just a visionary. It's all making sense to me, not a basic, ain't no ordinary. Stay put, we gon' get higher. You're the product, I could be your buyer. Under these lucid dreams, I'm not thinking off my head yet. Just being honest, what's the big difference? Yeah. And I've been feeling my own inner shot. Just being honest, there's no difference. Baby, we got different phases, give it all, take it all I'm just feeling lazy, just be honest, baby We got different phases, give it all, take it all Malibu got so hanjane Drunk machine blue lemonade Surum pido of so the gunagi jane
the last time I filmed was yesterday at the designer outlet and then I forgot to tell you how it was so I thought I'm quickly gonna tell you a little bit about it and show you what I got. So the design out at Pandorf is very close to Vienna, it's only a half an hour drive I would say and it's quite huge, it has brands like Prada, Burberry, Gucci, Ralph Lauren, um, Axe, what else, Valentino which is new and Montclair, like it's quite huge, there are great brands and sometimes they do have really great offers and deals and I have been to the designer outlet for a while like I think the last time we went to was two years ago or even three years ago maybe I think it was two years ago and we thought okay let's check out what they have because last week or the week before I have seen that quite a few new stores opened at the designer outlet and I wanted to check them out so one of them was Valentino and they had really good stuff not a lot but they had quite a few cute things especially the men's section had really nice hoodies t-shirts and bomber jackets we went to Prada they had quite a few cute things I saw the Prada nylon bag in black which was really cute and it was for 800 euros so I think it's quite good for the bag I don't really know for how much it retails right now after that we also checked out the new Amitsis store I hope I pronounce it right I'm not sure if it's called Amitsis or Amitsis I'm gonna say Amitsis. It's a multi-brand store in Vienna and it has like all of the designer brands you can think of. Bottega, Celine, Jacquemus. It has a very huge selection and I've seen that they opened a huge store in Pandorf, which is also an outlet and we also went there because I was so excited to explore the shop and the design like the architecture of the shop is beautiful they did a great job I felt like I'm somewhere on a vacation because it looked so amazing with all the palm trees and really love the architecture and they also had great stuff and quite a good selection but the prices were still quite high I have to say I really liked the store and the stuff was really friendly I didn't buy a lot of things but I bought two items which I'm so excited about because these two items were on my wish list. If you have watched my latest video which was my autumn capsule wardrobe, in that video I told you that I still haven't found the right jeans and I was on the hunt to find the perfect fitted denim. I think I finally found the one. So there is also a Levi's store at Palmdorf and this was not planned at all, like I forgot about the Levi's store and I didn't plan to go there but when we walked by I thought okay let's quickly check it out because maybe they will have some cute jeans. And then they had the 501 original jeans and they had quite a huge selection which doesn't happen a lot because it's so difficult to find the 501s online, they are always sold out. And I was quite shocked that they had quite a huge selection, a lot of colors, a lot of sizes. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna try different sizes and different lengths in these jeans because I already had a Levi's 501 original cropped. So that's the shorter version, which is cropped. But I got the shortest size and the legs were quite cropped which I didn't really like. It's not really my style anymore. I like the jeans in general, so I thought I'm gonna try on the same jeans but in a longer version. And I tried on, I normally had the length 26, so they have 26, 28 and 30. I tried on the length 28 and the fit is perfect. I think I finally found my dream jeans. And they had a great offer, so if you get two, you got the second one for 50% off, 
which is quite a great deal at Levi's because these jeans are not cheap so I was really lucky to find them. The first one I'm going to show you is the oh my god is the blue wash. I don't like every kind of blue in jeans but this one I really liked. It is the 501 crop Oxnard Attends Pushed. That's the name. 501 original cropped. I got it in a size 25, 28. 28 is the length. I just love them. They fit so good. They have a very nice fit. They are very timeless, very comfortable. I love a comfortable denim. And I really like the color. I think it has this vintage blue vibes a little bit. That's why I really like this color. And yeah, I'm really happy that I finally found the one. The original price for this is 120 euros. The outlet price was 83 euros. And then because I liked it so much, I also got it in this dark gray washed color. It's not black. It's, I mean, it says black, but it's not like this black black. It's a little bit washed. You know what I mean? So this one is 501 crop lunar black clean hem. The original price for this one was 110 euros. The outlet price was 76 euros and I got this for 50% off. So it was quite a good deal. I think I paid 120 euros for both of them. I got two for the price of one, which is amazing. I think that's a great deal, right? So I'm really happy about this. This one I also got in a size 25, 28. I can't wait to style these, but I'm sure you will see me wearing these quite a lot. So that was everything I got from the designer outlet because there was not a lot of selection. I went to Birken Birkenstock. Is this the way you say Birkenstock in English? Because Birkenstock is a German brand and we spell it like Pippenstock, but I think the English version is Birkenstock. So yeah, let's say that. I went there because I wanted to see if they have the Boston sandals and they had a huge selection of them. I was so surprised to see a lot of Boston styles because they are always sold out online. So I didn't expect to find this many styles. But the one I wanted, they didn't have because I want the... I will insert a picture of the one I want because I don't know the name. But they had similar ones but not the exact same one. And I didn't really like the ones they had and I didn't want to buy anything just because it's cheaper there. Because the price was quite good. They retail for 150 euros and the outlet price was about 70 and 80 euros i think that's quite a good deal but yeah if you're in vienna and you have the time to visit the designer outlet you should definitely do that because they do have really great deals sometimes we were walking and then i saw the ck store and whenever i see a ck store i check if they have a picture of jk because he is the brand ambassador and we didn't even see a lot of CKs with JK in Seoul. I don't know why, but they didn't really have pictures of them back then when we were there. But I was walking and I peeked inside the store and I just saw the tie and knew it was JK. So I ran in the store to... <laughs> see his picture and it was a huge one. I filmed it, you will definitely have seen it already, but that was an exciting moment. I wish I felt my reaction. I was so excited to see it and it was so unexpected, so it was more exciting. But yeah, cute moment. Yesterday when I came back home, I received a package which I also want to show you because it's really exciting and it's from a brand i really love and you know that i love this brand it's this huge package i had a little sneak peek but i didn't 
um, open the pieces separately because I wanted to do that with you. This is a Cezanne order. I ordered a few knits from Cezanne because they launched a few new styles and I wanted to see how they are and yeah, let's unpack them. Oh cute, I love the Cezanne packaging. Isn't it cute? I ordered this black sweater. I think this is the Louis, Louis, Louis sweater in black. And this was on my wishes for a while. This is not a new style. They have these, I think, in their regular collection. But it's this very basic sweater with these slouchy arms and it has these button details on the sleeves which is really cute it has a round neck and I think this is a mohair mix let's check it's 38% polyamid 31% super kit mohair and 30% merino wool and 1% elastane because it's mixed with wool it's not too itchy it doesn't feel itchy but it feels really good and I'm excited to try this on but I think I will love it because it's just a basic black knit and I got this knit in a size large because Cezanne is a French brand this one is a black cardigan it's not too thick it's perfect for the transitional season and I think you can also wear this during summer because of the material and this one has a v-neck and these cute tortoiseshell buttons. I love it. It looks really cute and the material feels so good as well. So that's 40% wool, 40% cotton and 20% polyamide. Got this in a medium. It looks quite oversized. Let's try this on because I really want to see how this looks and how it feels. It feels quite good but yes. I mean, it's cute. How do we like it? The arms look like this, so they are not too big. But also not tight. By the way, I'm wearing my um, Uniqlo white t-shirt again. <laughs> because, you know, I like my white shirts. So, it looks like this. I mean, I'm wearing black joggers, so you won't really see it properly, but cute i like it let's do the rest of the haul like this because i really like this look right now i have two more pieces i also got the louis knit in this gray color because as i said it's just the perfect basic knit so i really like this gray color and i don't have any um, sweaters in this gray color so I thought it would be quite cute it's the same style here you can see the arms the sleeves better really cute with the buttons this one I also got in a size large because yeah, I wanted it to be oversized love the color it's cute and the last item I got is a gray cardigan this one is also a v-neck cardigan but this is not the same as this because this has a different material it's this i think this is also a mohair and wool mix it has these really cute sleeve details really pretty buttons they look cool so this with the white shirt with my new jeans oh my god i can't wait to style them and this cardigan I also got in a medium. Let's see the material of this one. This is 34% kit mohair, 34% wool, 27% polyamide and 5% elastane. So I think this is the same material as the Louis knits and it feels like it is the same. So this was my little haul which I really wanted to show you. I hope you enjoyed it. And today we are heading out to walk a little bit and enjoy the sunny autumn weather. And in the evening we will meet Melek. If you have missed her, you will see her 
during this week's vlog and also during next week's vlog which I'm gonna tell you more about in a minute. We will meet her today and we will have Korean dinner at a place I haven't tried before so I'm really excited about that but I'm not sure if I'm gonna include our dinner in this vlog because this week I'm filming two vlogs at the same time. I don't know how I will do that. The next vlog will be very Korean themed. We have planned something exciting this week and I want to film that separately. So I thought I'm gonna do this vlog as a weekly vlog, which you are watching right now. And the next vlog, which will be up next Sunday, will be a Korean themed vlog. So if you like these kind of things, stay tuned for that, but it will be exciting. I, I don't wanna spoil anything. We have planned an exciting day which I want to film separately and I also have some other things to show you which I think will be more suited for the next vlog because yeah then it will be a whole Korean themed vlog and also a little bit of a BTS themed vlog because the things I'm gonna show you are BTS related so I hope you will enjoy that as well yeah I'm gonna clean my room and all this mess and then we will see us again when we are out and about <laughs> Living in past fantasies, damn I got the eagle like